My name's Bill Poucher. I'm a project manager with uh, David Archaeological Trust. So I'll be sort of doing the on-site recording side of things in this in this project. I'm Neil Ludlow. I used to be a project manager at David Archaeological Trust, like Phil. I'm now freelance. And I'm kind of like the, um, I suppose, the backroom boy really on this project. Do the initial research and help Phil compile the report and make the interpretations and um, yeah, whatever input I can. Well, the thing about Picks and Castles is that we know so very little about it. it, it it's it's not got any documented instructional history. It's a baronial castle, so unlike a crown castle, you haven't got surviving building accounts. We don't really even know when it was built. And the thing that's really interesting about it is just so unusual. Most castles have some analog somewhere, you know, but Picton is kind of of itself. Really no close parallels to its planned form and internal arrangements in the UK or even beyond. So it really is, it's waiting there to be unpacked and unpicked really. We don't have any up-to-date, accurate plans of the building and its layout. We'll be going in there with various surveying techniques to get an accurate plan of the site, an accurate record of uh, uh, of the appearance and the layout uh, and how it all beats together. Looking for the uh, the little details as well to, to try and unpick how it was originally built, how it is developed and just to, to get a much better understanding of the place. The castle's been, it's one of those, a bit like Barclay, um, Anik, um, it's been inhabited pretty much since it was built. So there's a lot of post-medieval development to the site, a lot of post-medieval alteration. At the moment, it presents itself internally as a beautiful late 18th, early 19th century house. But underneath that flesh, as it were, is a skeleton of a very unique medieval castle. There's been no proper archaeological survey, so we are entering really terra incognita with this one. You know, so any information that we can retrieve will help us. So we really are, you know, we're coming at this as, as a piece of completely new territory. I'm sure there are bits and pieces which will help us to establish those kind of questions, how the building was actually used. We don't really know how it worked. We may never really get close to finding what its analogies may be. I'm hoping that we might, but at least we can work out how it worked as a living space. And unpicking all that and trying to separate those strands out, I think that's of interest in itself. I think it's fascinating. And Picton, because it's so unusual, uh, um, offers that, presents that opportunity too. So it's, um, it's a lovely site. It's very attractive. <laughs>